<laughs> you never you never had a little wax like this, right? No. Okay. See, you can kill that one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Russell Zick. I'm a senior at San Mateo High School. I'm playing Edna Turnblatt in Hairspray, and it's a role that um, requires a little bit more cosmetic effort than I'm used to. <laughs> Look that you lost that much. <laughs> <laughs> That's so gross. I'm mentally preparing myself, you know, one of my happy plays. <laughs> Visualizing, like, mm. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> what do you do for beauty? <laughs> yeah, for the price of beauty here. Uh... Well, I am big, and I am blonde-ish. And while if you say I'm beautiful, I guess I'm beautiful. <laughs> Forgot how long it takes to shave everything. That was pretty uh, fun. But this morning I did my legs, and um... A little bit of my chest, and I can do my armpits because there's this one dress I wear, and it's, yeah, it's got me out there. It's pretty funny. Did it hurt? Hmm? Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm a little sore still. Yeah. I guess I think I'm early, but everyone else is here, so no one's early. Um, this is just like a little something to make it easier for the makeup to stick. I don't know, it's almost like moisturizer, kind of just, they call it primer, primes your face for the makeup, I guess. I don't know. I really have no idea. I just had Ashley take me shopping and she, she was like, you need this and this and this and this. And then I bought it. So what I'm gonna do is, is essentially kind of get rid of this half of my eyebrows because they're kind of manly. I put some glue on the brow. I like it. And the idea is just to flatten my eyebrow. This is pretty funny. Like two days ago I was using this like for my physics notebook. Today I'm using it to become a woman. I'm starting to realize how much hard work goes into um, a woman's makeup. This is a very, very amateur way to something that one in Ashley wanted to wear brows today. Can you help? Yeah. I'm like orange at the top. You need a little more? Yeah, you need more. I feel like I'm six years old and just finding out what makeup is. Remember when I broke your eyeliner in eighth grade? He broke my eyeliner. <laughs> he played Gaston in Beauty and the Beast and he needed chest hair and that was before I had the jungle. <laughs> he just broke it on his I like, chest. I had no idea Didn't what know me, was. just left it there. Well, yeah, and then I had to use a sharpie to like <laughs> used finish to it. Sharpie. I don't know what I'm doing. Hashtag blend it. Like this is my favorite part. Wow, <laughs> this is the best I've had it on ever. Ah, I look alright. From like far away, I'll look alright. You think I wanted to spend my life ironing and washing everyone else's clothes? No. I wanted to design them. I thought I was going to be the biggest thing in Brazier's. Well, you better be careful what you wish for. <laughs> this is the fun part. Um, this is my butt. So this has been modified a few times, but essentially it's just a bra with all the bra part filled out and a stomach. And then this is a little bit of back fat that I just kind of you know, have on my back. It's supposed to help because otherwise I have this flat back and then a butt, just kind of like jutting out. It's like I have a shelf on my back. To be and uh, I mean, you need the wardrobe, of course. You need the body, um, and of course the wigs. You know, you gotta you gotta be this woman in curlers, um, and then you gotta feel and become this woman, and definitely the attitude. All right, ready, go. One, two, then, then, then. So what I miss? How to walk like a woman. I mean, there, I still have moments where Mr. Beast will come over and go, you're, you're walking like a truck driver. So every once in a while you'll see me going down the hall and the track is in one in front of the other, trying to get that. Okay, I'm gonna go put on my butt. Um, Edna, Edna's funny. She, it, she goes through this huge tram from transformation throughout the show, but I think the one thing that is constant about her is that she is strong. It's just at the beginning she's, she's a very different kind of strong. I mean, clearly there's the body, she, she doesn't take any, you know? 
So she's got that going throughout the entire show, but there's a shift where she becomes like empowered. big notes I got a lot throughout the process was um, enjoy being a woman and I didn't know what that meant for a while but then I, <laughs> I think one of the first times I got like the wig on and the makeup and I think it was the red dress specifically um, I was like oh well look at me and then it, it kind of clicked I don't have to worry about my, my voice's pitch or anything too superficial about it if I just feel like a woman because Edna she's just a strong woman from start to finish